Most people in America are very aware that they have privacy rights to their genitalia. That apparently is not the case in front of any medical person or any police officer. When a man is taken in at the request of his siblings as they try to launch a medical or mental health attack on a human being's life to allow themselves more inheritance, nobody fucking stops to think about it. They do it out of their own jealousy, their own stupidity, or their own loftiness. The truth is no medical officer is a part of a police force. No person in a police force has the right to commandeer someone and take them to any hospital. They don't have the right to listen to someone who claims to be a sibling when the person is of the age of majority. The stupid aspects of the Biden administration is that they are touting all these things that they're doing for diversity, but they're lying behind the backs of people and allowing their forces to literally sexually assault people. A man has been sexually assaulted and mutilated to the point that not only have they harmed his private parts, they are actually allowing sexual assault by their officers, especially their black ones, that don't give a shit about a human being's rights. Isn't that amazing that we can say these things online as opinions, as columnists, as journalists of what we experience and what we observe, but the little bitch white girls who are marrying the blacks just get away with every lie they tell. I have become more and more a racist, and I'm not necessarily proud to say it because my late wife and my late son were Japanese. But someone in a family can destroy a person's medical rights in a matter of seconds. They will keep attacking, they'll keep hitting, they'll keep trying to take more inheritance for their family because that's what they are, losers in an economic war. Most Americans do their best to produce an economic educational opportunity for their children. Most adults try and go out and pursue the highest level of work they can find. And when they find it, they're pretty lucky with it. But if they screw up that relationship and lose their job, then they're faced with the truth that they've not put away anything at all because they've been too busy in treating their children. In treating their children to believe that life is easy. In treating their children to believe that they can do anything they like as long as they have money from some late relative. The truth is that a man's property belongs to the individual, but no police officer bothered to tell a man that they were trying to do something to his property. So when I speak these truths, I'm speaking the honest truth that a Fisher's storage unit lied about their rights to involve other people into a storage unit that were not signed on the contract. And as a result, their people were actually stealing from that man's antiques and goods. And they got officers to participate in that. Those officers lied about their rights to commandeer a man to the tune of $10,000. And when they did that, nobody thought about what would happen to his medical rights, his privacy rights, or his actual records because Muslims were in that hospital playing their stupid religious ideologies on that man's life. None of those people were a part of his life for more than maybe a week, if not more than that, because they continued to follow him with their social networks and their lies about how they don't bother with HIPAA laws. You see, HIPAA laws only protect people when people are honest about their rights. But medical practitioners lie, steal, and cheat us out of our medical rights every single day. Anytime they want to, they can bring a sheriff in, an officer in, who can have access to whatever the fuck we're dealing with. They can commandeer us, they can lie about us, they can pretend to be medical practitioners, they can take away our lawful rights to particular prescriptions, they can destroy our opportunities, and they do it all underneath the house of Biden's name. Because it used to be underneath the house of Trump, but since we've had a change, a very late change of transition of those people in positions, we are now forced to experience and re-experience the lies that those officers tell themselves that they are above the law.